First of all, measure the length of your old tops. Remember to check for sufficient overhang on the edge if required. If you're installing a worktop for the first time, note the distance from the wall to where the top should end, taking into account the overhang. If you're installing your worktop into a corner, remember to take into account the width of the first side when measuring the length of the second side. Next, making sure you don't scratch or damage your worktop surface with whatever tool you're using, remove the free edging strip from inside the packaging and keep it in a safe place. Keep the protective packaging in place as this will protect the surface from scuffs until you're ready to install it. Carefully mark the tops for cutting. Remember, mistakes happen easily, so always double check your measurements. Always follow the tool manufacturer's instructions. If you're using a hand saw, make sure the blade is a fine toothed one. And be sure that the saw blade rotates so that you always cut into the laminate, not out of it, to avoid chipping and damaging the surface. Carefully cut along your mark and use a cutting guide if one is available. Clean off the edge so it has a good smooth finish. Now you're ready for the next step, which is sealing the edges. Let's talk about making cutouts and inserting a sink, for example. The first step is to measure and mark the underside of your worktop so you know exactly where the cutout needs to go. You can use a paper template to draw the cutout shape or if you're making a cutout for a sink, you can position it on the worktop and trace around it. To help you, new sinks often come with a template printed on the sink packaging. If you're making your own template, remember to draw the inner dimension of the sink. Otherwise, the hole you cut will be too big and the whole sink unit will simply slip through the hole. Now you need to drill starter holes so you can get your jigsaw blade through the worktop to start cutting. Of course, the starter holes need to be wide enough to allow your jigsaw blade to go through. Firstly, determine the correct location for drilling by measuring where they should be and then matching that point with corresponding measurements on the other side of the worktop. Remember to add 10 millimeters to each of your measurements so that you start cutting inside the required area and your hole doesn't end up being too big. And start drilling from the top of the worktop surface to prevent any chipping. Cut with your jigsaw blade from the underside. If you have two or more cutouts to make, leave at least 250 millimeters between each one. Once you've done all the cutting, clean away any dust and seal the edges. Then add acrylic around the edge of the sink unit and position the unit on the underside of the worktop. Clamp it into place, starting in the middle and working your way outwards. Firstly, ensure all your edges are smooth, clean and as dust-free as possible. It's very important that all the edges are very well sealed to ensure the longest lasting result. You should seal every raw edge with a double coat of good quality exterior grade varnish or a good damp proofing sealant. Use a dabbing motion to ensure the sealant goes in between the wood fibers and there is adequate penetration. Once the worktop is properly installed, the join between the wall and the worktop itself will need to be sealed too, on the top only, with silicon. Now, let's talk about the exposed edges that face outwards. The free edging strip that is supplied with your Formica Life Seal worktop will give these edges a perfectly finished and professional look. Firstly, cut and shape the strip to the exact length and shape of your worktop. But before you apply the edging strip, remember to seal the edge. Once the seal coat is dry, apply contact adhesive evenly to the edge of your now sealed worktop and the back side of the edging strip. Give it a little time to dry, as per the instructions on your contact adhesive. 
Next, carefully apply the strip to the edge of the worktop with a firm pressure. Clean away any excess contact adhesive and once it's dry, file the edge clean. Let's take a look at another edge now, where two ends of the worktop butt together in a corner join. The curved post-formed edge is already sealed by the laminate, of course, so only the raw, cut edge of the second length of worktop needs to be sealed, as described previously. Once the seal coat is dry, screw a suitable T-joiner, cut to the appropriate length, into place. We'll see exactly how to place and join these two lengths together later. Lastly, let's talk internal edges. Cutouts for sinks, hobs, taps or waste units. Like every other edge, the inner surfaces of the cut areas must be sealed, as shown previously. If your cutout is going to be used for a stove top, you can also cover the varnished exposed edges with aluminium tape for added protection against heat. Let's take a look at how to create a perfect corner join where a male and female edge of two Formica Life Seal worktops butt up against each other. Firstly, place your jig over the female edge and clamp it down securely. Now, trace off the required edge. Use a jigsaw to cut away excess material. Then, clamp the jig back in position and use a router to cut the edge. Now, to create the corresponding edge, use the appropriate guide to mark off and create the male edge. Turn the worktop over and position the jig in order to cut the slots for the undermount brackets. Cut out the slots using a router. Ensure you have cut the recess deep enough to house the brackets. If you have one, use a biscuit joint cutter and insert biscuits to align the two worktops and keep them in position. Position the male and female boards together, fit the undermount brackets in their slots and tighten. Now you have a perfectly fitted corner join for your Formica Life Seal worktop. Let's now take a step-by-step -step look at fixing your worktops into place. Your first step is to drill holes through the fixing rails on the carcass or frame of the cupboard itself. With screws through them, these rails will keep your worktop fitted securely in place. Now, carefully turn your worktop over with the sink unit in place, lower it onto the cupboard and align it with the wall and corner. Hold it firmly in position and secure it with screws through the fixing rails. Then, once you've made sure it's in the right place, do the same thing with the second worktop to create a perfect corner. The T-join will cover the gap between the two surfaces. Now, finally, seal the gap between your wall and the worktops with silicon. Smooth it out and remove any excess. You can clean away any excess glue with thinners. Now, a quick clean with a good kitchen cleaner and your PG Bison Formica Life Seal Worktop is ready for action. It's tough, but don't cut or slice food directly on the surface. Use a cutting board, rather. Wipe away any spillages as soon as you can. And remember to place hot objects on a cutting board or trivet as well. This low-maintenance surface can be cleaned in a snap with a damp cloth or a mild detergent diluted in water when you need it. All it takes is a little bit of care and attention and you and your PG Bison Formica Life Seal Worktop will be together for life. <laughs>